I say anything that falls in the category of fancy, gimmicky, gamey stuff, cut it out forever. Okay, whether it be your opener, whether it be stuff you're saying in the vibe, whether it be stuff you say over text. What's up guys, Johnny Anthony here from Johnny Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to give a special message to all you guys that are watching. Stop being gamey, stop being fancy, stop doing little tricks and little fancy stupid shit, okay? The girls see right through it. It works against you, okay? Anything in the category of gamey, fancy, gimmicky shit, okay, which dominates the whole industry and lots of coaches actively push, okay, that's going to fuck up everything for you, okay? Before we continue, if you would like to get your dating life handled as fast as possible, jump on the call. Uh, free 30-minute call. Link in the description. Okay. Me or my coaches will go over exactly where you're at. Okay. We'll ask you a bunch of questions in advance. We'll find out where you are in your situation and tell you the plan to fast track you to advanced to getting crazy results in as fast of a time as possible. Okay. Free 30-minute call. Check the link in the description for that. Also, if you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe below. Okay. So, what are some examples of this? Okay, Todd V, Todd V Dating, notoriously does all kinds of stupid, fancy, gimmicky bullshit. Okay, he will walk up to the girl and he has a technique called cold reading. Okay, so he will say, hey, you look like you're a Sarah. Okay, dumb as fuck. Hey, you look like you're from Georgia. Dumb as fuck. Okay, don't say dumb shit like that. Okay, I, I see when RSD lets out after their free tours. Okay, I remember in San Diego, they, they unleash the fucking weirdos that they've created okay, out onto the streets, and the guys are walking up to girls saying the dumbest shit you could possibly think of, okay, I had this hot girlfriend at the time in San Diego, I was 21 year old, and she knew what I did for my job, okay, and she's on the street, and I was like walking up to guys like, hey man, um, are you RSD, and they'd be like, whoa, like, because I think it's like a secret society, okay, the whole pickup world, I'm like, it's cool, I coach this stuff, blah, and they're like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, right, they were walking up to her and being like, hey, um, I see you're staring at your socks. Uh, do you like socks? Like, think about if you're a girl, okay? First, let's take a step back, first of all, okay? <laughs> if you are a woman, okay, this is a, a neurological fact that women have 10 times more white matter than men, okay, on average. What is white matter? White matter is responsible for interneuronal connections, okay? It's responsible for social and verbal tasks, okay? So a woman, even without any social experience, is already hardwired, okay, and predisposed to be very, very socially intuitive, okay, and see right through the shit, okay? So if people um, come up and say weird shit to her, she calculates immediately, boom, this guy is trying to be someone he's not, therefore, he's a fucking weirdo, he's a creep, he's awkward, he's low value, etc., 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 okay, because why would a high value cool dude that's legitimately cool, that's legitimately alpha, need to say fancy, dumb, stupid bullshit, okay, why, he wouldn't, okay, look at Brad Pitt, look at Leonardo DiCaprio, look at um, Bruce Willis, look, look at, you know, these are celebrities, but everyone, that's why I'm using these examples, everyone knows about them, do you think they're going to go up and say, hey, I see you're looking at your socks. Uh, do you like looking at socks? No, of course not. Okay. And you should never do that either. Okay. So when I look at like a lot of these coaches in fields or what they're teaching, et cetera, et cetera, even the fucking stupid, simple pickup idiots. Okay. Back in the day when they were just making these viral videos on YouTube, okay. And getting millions of subscribers. Okay. Now they're back to scam you about online dating. Okay. The Indian guy from simple pickup who doesn't know shit about good game, okay, is out there just mass pushing Facebook ads, okay, and telling you, I don't even remember the fucking name of it, endless options, okay, complete trash, all right, but in their product, in their, in their uh, product called Project Go, which is this recurrence thing, Kong, okay, the Asian one from Simple Pickup, he was going up to girls and saying, hey, uh, what's your favorite color, and they're like, red, and he's like, Oh, that's cool. You picked red because that's the color of love and Aphrodite and this and that. And the girls are like, what the fuck? Right. And he's like, break, he's doing like the infield breakdown. And he's like, the reason why I ask her this is so I could get in touch with like her loving side. And it, 
don't you don't need to be this fucking complete weirdo okay if any if you have any kind of like canned weird lines get rid of them okay if you have any like for openers for instance like todd v i went through so many other coaches products to give them a fair chance okay surprise surprise they're all fucking garbage okay they're all fucking dog shit todd v i think it was his um three girls a day product or, or day game by todd or one of those stupid products he's like here's all the category of openers Okay, and they're all falling under cat, uh, gimmicky and fancy. Okay, I am very, very, very firm on my live bootcamp students or guys that our clients go through my products or whatever. I say anything that falls in the category of fancy, gimmicky, gamey stuff, cut it out forever. Okay, whether it be your opener, whether it be stuff you're saying in the vibe, whether it be stuff you say over text. Okay, there's there's some of the coaches I respect the most in this industry. Okay, who I and this sounds arrogant, but I see myself as, as far beyond even those that I consider next best. But I, it's backed up, okay, and they're not getting anywhere close to the results I am, or and not for their clients, even close either. But some of these coaches I consider to be next best, a lot of them have fancy gamey shit, all right? They walk up, you look like you're going to be my next ex-wife. You look like uh, we would have a baby and blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's like so cringe and upsetting, Okay. You don't ever need to talk like that, and you should never talk like that. Okay, I've, I've talked to tons of girls, hot girls, at length about this, and they all say the same shit. It's totally dumb. Okay, Whenever I watch a coach's infield and I hear him saying shit like that, I just immediately <clears throat> lose all respect for him. Okay, And this problem is very, very, very deep in the seduction community. I see guys text threats, and they're like, what's the next fancy thing? Here's the problem. It's coming from the frame of, how do I be the funny guy? How do I be the cool guy? How do I be the sexual guy? How do I be the guy that she's going to like? How can I alter myself because my original self, okay, who I really am, is not good enough? So how do I alter and put on this alter ego or this fucking uh, pickup character that's going to be uh, appealing okay, to the woman? That's going, that's going to give me the edge. I'm not good enough, but these fancy, gimmicky, gamey lines are good enough, okay? Because some fucking dumbass on YouTube, okay, who's proclaiming to be a guru and is just bullshitting you, told you that that was the right way, okay? Here's a guy that I've been with 1,262 girls, 1,262 girls. I never say that shit, okay? And I, I never will. It's fucking retarded, and it's going to work against you, okay? Any guy that's in there talking like a normal person versus someone that's using any amount of fancy, gamey, gimmicky type shit is going to be at a big advantage, even if he doesn't know game, okay? That doesn't make you a, a cool, badass PUA, okay, or, or badass pickup artist that you can go and say dumb shit, okay? And the, the problem is that most of you don't realize that it's dumb shit because <clears throat> these other companies are like, yeah, go say this line, okay? This is how you're going to get her with this clever opener. This is how you're going to get her with this clever text, okay? I see like page upon page upon page of text thread conversations and the guy's just like, like, like most of the, most of like the text advice <clears throat> forums, guys will have like these long interactions. My texting is very short, succinct, to the point. Okay, I get the meetups. Okay, it's, a, it's very fucking lethal. I have optimized text. I don't even tell my clients to customize their text. I just tell them to plug in some my text sequences, okay, that cover everything. What, is she, what do you do if she stops replying, if she cancels, if she reschedules, if... You get non-compliance here. If you get any one of these objections, comfort objections, safety objections, hookup objections, logistics objections, etc., and I build compliance letters <clears throat> that make it easy to move her off the online app to text, and I build compliance letters that make it easy for her to go from text to a date. Okay, it's very straightforward. It's very simple, and it works very, very, very well. Okay, and it came about after working ten thousand leads. Okay, that's when I built my leads machine product. I had over ten thousand leads and a thousand girls. Okay, now I have twelve sixty-two girls. And there's about 12,500 leads. It stays around 10% close rate for the amount of phone numbers collected. But guy, the, the, the discussion forums around these like text message situations, everyone's debating what's the, what's the most clever thing they should say there? What's the most fancy, gimmicky, gamey, fucking stupid thing that they should say there? Okay? Or how do they recover from the last fancy, gamey, uh, fi gimmicky, fucking uh, stupid thing they said? Okay, and everyone's like, try this fancy thing, try this fancy thing, try this fancy thing. And I won't name any companies, <clears throat> but I have guys come to me and they're like, 
hey, this company said to do this. And I'm like, no, fancy, gimmicky, fucking stupid. And they're like, they're like, they said this. And the girl responded negatively. The girl stopped responding. I'm like, yeah, no shit, because that's fucking dumb, right? And they're like, but I thought this company, no, okay? Everyone's fucking missing the mark, okay, in this field. And I had some guy tell me the other day, he, he was like debating between my coaching and Todd's. And he's like, well, Todd has 160,000 YouTube subscribers and you have 10,000. And I was like, dude, there's literally zero correlation, okay? And maybe the, the tiniest bit of correlation, you know, obviously if someone has like zero followers, they're, they're probably no one, okay? But just because Todd has all these subscribers, he wrote this RSD fame, which was just a lot of scam marketing, okay? And then he partnered with some other new marketers, okay? And YouTube subs has no uh, correlation to your skill or your skill for clients, okay? Todd's, Todd V Dating's shit is notoriously gamey, fancy, stupid, and there's all these technical problems with it. Todd is a very weak closer. Todd married a five, okay? Todd had a kid with a five. Okay, Todd is not a fucking authority in this game. Okay, Todd does not churn out beasts. Guys fucking suck from his program. I said, hey, man. <clears throat> I said, take a program with Todd then because I can point you to 10 people that are in my phone that just contacted me recently for getting nothing out of Todd's program. Okay, but knock yourself out. Okay, if you, if you want to aspire to be like Todd and marry a five and have a baby with her, knock yourself out. Okay, and then you can fucking come back to me and say, hey, man, this didn't do shit for me. Uh, but I thought it would because he had way more subs. Can I train with you? And I'm going to say, no, uh, go fuck yourself, okay? So <clears throat> in closing, cut out all areas of fancy, gamey, gimmicky shit, okay? And if you don't know if something's fancy, gamey, or gimmicky, <clears throat> here's a litmus test. Would you normally say that shit to, like, your fucking friends or your dad or, like, anyone you're not trying to impress? If the answer is no, then don't say it to a fucking girl, okay? It's, it's very simple. Okay? And this will solve a lot of your problems. <clears throat> it's a very serious problem that riddles the whole community and it's fucking sickening. And you can spot PUAs like everywhere. Okay? And I'd like to fucking restore this community to people that are actually good at game. When I first learned about game on my own, not on my own, but from Mystery Method and, and the book The Game, I was like, damn, so there's all these people around here that like understand a system, all, all these people around the world that understand a system and we're all like in this like secret underground thing and we all have a huge advantage. And then I went and met a whole bunch of pickup guys, okay, running around 100 Lake Count. That's, I, I attended an RST free tour, and that was like the first time I met a bunch of pickup guys. And they were all super, <clears throat> super fucking weird, super awkward, super creepy, and mostly because they're being trained by popular companies like RSD to be a fucking weirdo, okay? And they're being trained to fucking just do dumb shit, right? And then they get no results from it, and they're like, why isn't this working, Okay. So notoriously, most guys in the community are much worse than normal guys, okay? And RSD loves that, okay? Because they can keep selling you shit to make you better, aka make you keep going the reverse direction so that you have an even greater need to buy their worthless shit, okay? Hope that was useful. If you're looking for the real solution, okay, to solve this for real, become advanced as quickly as possible, book a 30-minute consultation call. Link is in the description. I will see you guys <clears throat> on the next video. Thank you very much. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.